Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. If you have struggled with Cyrillic files like I have, you'll be familiar with the continuing problem of applications rendering Cyrillic into garbage. Um, there's lots of reasons for this. I won't get into the philosophical reasons. Let's talk about the workaround. Go to File, Open, Identify the file, click all files, and then go to type, sort by type, usually speeds up the process, and then find the SRT file that you're hoping to open. This one is Russian Cyrillic.srt. Uh, yes, and hopefully it's going to prompt me, as it did, for 1251 Cyrillic Windows, which you will see renders the text properly. Click Finish, Update, blah, 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 Continue. And now you can see that the text is in Russian. Now, take that text from the spreadsheet and put it into Notepad. And it will clean out all of the tables that will be associated with it because if you want to paste this into a web page, which I'll do in a moment, uh, you don't want all of the <clears throat> table data to follow it. So paste it into Notepad, copy that, that cleans out the table problems, and then go to your favorite wiki, which in this case will be my wiki. Let's see if it works. There it is. I'm using the Zoho Wiki, which um, is not bad. On large files, it does tend to bork, but not it's not so serious as to render your energies useless. Um, I've already got Ostrov right there. It's um, I'm pretty sure it's a clean version connected to it or if it in fact is a clean paste. I'm guessing, I'm guessing and I don't remember uh, that it has tables cause Firefox, Firefox memory leak problem that just will not go away. And the file will open hopefully because you're of this text. You see that? That's a table. I've got a table in here. I don't want a table. So I'm going to control A it. And that should hopefully delete the whole thing. Yes, and I hit delete. Because working in this table fashion will definitely cause nothing but grief. Um, problem here. The memory, the thinking, with some others. TikTok, uh, Excel, copy the call Notepad. Do not think that saving in Notepad will preserve your data your data types. The Cyrillic fonts will be rendered into garbage on saving in Notepad. I need to find another Notepad that can support Cyrillic. And then when I do have it, hey, look at that! It finally loaded. Um, I'm going to take this Notepad data. I'm going to copy it, Control-A, copy, and then paste it into my wiki page, and it works. I click Save. You're going to wonder what all, why I do all of this for the, win, uh, for the web page, and the answer is simple. The web translation tools that are now available through Google and other animals uh, makes translation of foreign text very simple if you can get the text onto the web. It's not perfect, but it's darn faster than opening up a book and trying to find the word in another language. Um, and if this loads in a reasonable amount of time, I might give you a quick demonstration of how that works, but just let it be known I've translated with the help of a web translation tool 30 lines of foreign language, in this case, Russian. I don't know how many of you speak Russian out there who are watching this. Imagine very few because Russian is not a terribly important language anymore. 
Um, that said, if you are learning Russian or any other language, the web translation tools are very good if your text is on the web. Now, we're saving, we're still saving, so I'm going to spare you the pain of showing you a web translation. Although I could perhaps, yeah, Google Translate right there. Take you to a Google Translate page and show you what it looks like if it loads. Um, yeah, see that's what happens usually. Well, maybe I can grab some text here. It's my little machine is very very unhappy. I'm gonna can't. I'm going to uh, say goodbye, happy New Year's, and happy computing.